which way do you want to go? You know, which way do you want to go? I'm going to go both. I'm going to cut it from both directions and make sure we get the same answer. All right. If I go the long way, if I keep all of this. So first of all, I'm not saying that that 500 is positive or negative. I'm saying that inside this section right here, you have an internal positive 500 Newton meter torque. So if I want to keep all of this and cut it right there, cut it right here. So there's my cut. I've got 600 going that way. I've got 900 going back that way. I've got 500 going back that way. And then another 300 going back that way. So my question is, what do I need at the cut to sum the moments equal to zero? So it looks like I've got 1,400 going that direction, but only 900 going that direction. So in essence, I could erase all, all four of those and replace that with I've got 500 going kind of up underneath here, going that way. So what do I need to counteract that? I need 500 coming back this way and 500 coming back that way would be a positive 500. So that's, that's if I kept the longer portion of it. What if I had kept this shorter portion of it and I cut it right here? So now note that I can't really see that cut from my point of view. That cut is kind of around back. I would need to kind of walk around back and look if I wanted to look at that cut. Um, I've got 500 acting that way. So what do I need at that cut? I would need 500 going that way. And still using the right hand rule, I need 500 out of the cut. Okay. So, so you need to cut it and ask yourself, what do I need at the cut? To sum the moments equal to zero. And then if your thumb is pointed out of the cut, then that would be positive. I think it's easier for me to visualize it when I can just see that cut right there. And so I think that one is easier for me to see at that cut. Oh, that would be a 500. Right, so, so, so up here, this is our point of view. I need 500 going that way, that would be positive. But if I came from the other end, I would, my cut is kind of over here. I can't really see it, but I could still use the right-hand rule, ask myself, what do I need right here? Okay. And that's internal. Do you all see, and we kind of did a little bit of this in dynamics. Do you see why that's an internal torque? one side feels equal and opposite what the other side feels so when we have that whole piece together we don't draw any torque in between here it's only when you open it when you, you cut it and open it that you see that internal torque of 500 okay so and that's important important that you can calculate the internal torques inside every section and tell them whether it's positive or negative Okay. All right.